Hello and welcome to the channel's book club. I am Olakunle Kasumu. Great icons often pass on before being celebrated. But telecom's giant, Globacom, did something special when it honored literary legend Professor Wally Shoinka in Lagos recently. The occasion also served as a launching pad for the much anticipated Glow Literature Prize for undergraduate students. Here's a report on how it went. An evening with Wale Shoinka. That's what telecommunications giant Globacom aptly tagged what could be described as one of the grandest events ever held in Nigeria to honor a literary icon. From all walks of life, distinguished guests and respected members of Nigeria's literati community converged to celebrate literature and art through the life of the man who, in many ways, perhaps symbolizes them. The event was simply described enjoyable and memorable. <laughs> From a cocktail to music, choreography and drama, there's much to savor. Kane Prize winners E.C. Osundu and Tokwe Folari together with award-winning author Sefiata, we are also honored and requested to engage Professor Shoinka on a number of issues. And the 81-year-old Nobel laureate was in his element as usual. As a younger writer, when you were starting out, did you feel the kind of burden of representation, especially as your, your reputation began to expand, the fact that you were, for many people, the, the first Nigerian writer they had met or had heard of, did you feel a kind of burden of representation to uphold Nigeria, the country, the culture of Nigeria, or were you just kind of yourself, as it were? No, I, I don't think I gave it a conscious thought. Uh, not uh, what you might call, I don't have an ambassadorial temperament that I want to represent some. It, it's, uh, it, it's a kind of arrogance, I think, to say that you're representing your nation. Uh, people might uh, disagree with what you do uh, in one way. And, I like to accept our responsibility, you know, my own burden, you know. And, uh, and then if you try to do that consciously, others will say, oh, you're not writing from my side of the culture, you're writing from your side of the culture. And then actually, you know, you're being termed, a, to put it mildly, a sectionalist writer, you know. And oh, he has no global sense of uh, nationalism, etc., etc. I question words like that. Commendations. Gifts, readings, and tributes were offered to the icon. The candlelight, no matter how small, whatever that is lit from it does not diminish the light. You are a blaze on our part. Thank you very much. Both. On this chair, please sit. We take our places in the past, but live in the present. For the future that we seek belongs to the unborn. Thank you very much. Also top on the agenda for the telecommunication giant that day was the official launch of the Global Literature Prize for undergraduate students to promote the study of all genres of literature. We have our chairman, Dr. Michael Inga the board and management of Globacom, and highly delighted tonight to formally announce the launch of the Global Literature Prize for undergraduate students. This award is meant to promote the study of literature 
and engender keen competition in the subject of tertiary institutions in Nigeria. We are of the firm belief that it will provide added incentives to the education establishment and to the Nigerian students, particularly in the field of literature and in the creative industry. We are launching the prize today as part of our holistic appreciation of the importance of literature in the society as we live. Literature is the mirror of the society we are in relief and plays a pivotal role in communicating and preserving our culture, our traditions and attitudes. The evening clearly illustrated Globacom's determination to lead the way in telling the Nigerian story and promote Nigerian literature, art and heroes. Cho Inka is our exemplar. He's the example we all learn either to follow, to deviate from, or to accommodate in so many ways. I mean, you are lucky if you are in a profession and you have in front of you somebody who is that accomplished. It means striving to catch up with him or to move beyond him or to simply be near him can be a way of generating new creativity for a society. It is good to have some truly iconic and productive figure to follow. Professor Walesho Inka is a man I've known since I was a very small boy. I think my first encounter with him, I must have been about 18 or 19 in Ife. Uh, he was then a lecturer. And I bought and read practically all his works, unless I've not come across it. For me, he's a consummate artist, very versatile, multidimensional, and it is going to be very, very difficult to find a man who is an essayist, who is a polemicist, who is a playwright, who is a poet, who is a novelist. It's, it's just incredible. He's awesome. To be described only in superlatives, I mean, this man has been with us since the 60s, you know, I mean, he has traversed generations, inspired people, inspired people outside of Nigeria. I mean, look at what, look at, look at what Tokwe Fulari said tonight, you know, that story of a young boy in Utah going to an all-white school, coming back home to say to the father, is there any smart people, any black smart person from Nigeria? And he brings out a book and said, this man, Walishika, is smart. He's a Nobel Prize winner for literature. He's from Abel, which are the same place as you are. Now, on one side, we are talking about literature. We're talking about encouraging the youth. On the other side, we're also talking about touching several emotions of people through entertainment, through music, through, through connectivity. So that's what it is all about. An evening with Walesho Inka was perhaps the perfect stage for two great brands, one known for his letters and the other for connecting people globally to remind us of just how much Nigeria can achieve. <laughs>